guys. I love reviewing and testing out new foundation. There are so many beautiful foundations out there and I am 39 years old, almost 40, so I have to be really careful about some of the foundations that I wear on my face. I can't wear a super matte foundation. I like more of a radiant matte, like a satin matte finish if I do wear a matte finish, which isn't very often. I do like more of a radiant, more on the little bit of on the glowy, dewy side, but I do prefer just something just to lay over my wrinkles. I feel like the matte foundations go over my wrinkles and like dramatize them versus just kind of blending over top and look very beautiful. So as I've aged, I have to be very careful. And so I'm kind of excited to test out as many foundations as I possibly can. And companies are just bringing out so many new foundations, it's hard to keep up. This one is not a new one. This has newer shades because of Jackie Ina. I love Jackie, she's one of my favorite YouTubers and she collaborated with Too Faced to create more shades. Now, I will be picking up one of the shades because I do think there's a shade in there that might work good with the summer tan that I have, but I wanted to try the foundation first in the shade that I have to see if I like it before going out and buying the actual bottle of the shade that I think will match. When Too Faced came out with their new Born This Way Concealer, I just reviewed this last week on my channel. I had so many of you guys ask me, okay, so how do you how do you feel about the Born This Way foundation? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know. Because I think I literally bought the bottle and tried it one time. So I thought, okay, now that they've got the concealer and now that they've brought out more shades, let me give this a full try and let me just really detailed review it and see how I like it. So we're gonna review this Born This Way foundation. Now I know that this is an oldie. I think every brand should collaborate with Jackie to create foundation shades. When I watched the video of hers, which I will link in the description box down below, but when I watched the video of her going through all the details of how she found the shade ranges and how she created them, she found the sparse areas inside the shade range and she wanted to fill in those gaps. So I was so excited that she did that. I think that that should just be her job. I think that brands should pay her really good money to create their foundation shades because she's amazing. I love, love, love her. So the shade that I have is natural beige and yes, it does not match me. It, this is a light to medium with neutral undertone. I bought this back in November, which is when I was more on the lighter pale side. So that's probably why I went with the light medium. When I went into Ulta a couple of days ago, there was a new shade that was formulated through Jackie um, that I do think would be a better match than this one. So I can't remember what it is. I have it written down, but um, so I'm excited to test this one out today. Now this foundation is $39 for one fluid ounce, which is very standard for a higher end foundation. It is a full coverage foundation. It is for normal, dry combination and oily skin and has a radiant finish. And it is an oil-free, medium to full coverage, natural looking, radiant foundation. Get full, undetectable coverage with Born This Way foundation. It's infused with coconut water, which aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. Alpine Rose, which helps support skin's health and resilience. And hyaluronic acid, which gives the skin a smoother, more youthful appearance. So it is um, parabens free, sulfate free, all that stuff. It's cruelty free, it's vegan. I know that many YouTubers love this foundation and I also know that this is a cult favorite for many of you followers out there. So I'm excited to test this out and I've heard some people say that this is too matte for them. I've had some people say that this is way too dewy. So I'm kind of curious to see how it works with my skin. So let's just jump right into the tutorial, me showing you guys how I applied it and how it wears throughout the day. I will come back for a midday check-in and then later on this evening for my final thoughts. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, let's get into putting this on. I just recently started parting my hair in the middle. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it on the side or the middle. It's like you want something a little bit different, but you don't want to start cutting your hair off. So I'm going to go ahead. My bangs are finally growing out. So I'm going to go ahead and pin these over to the side. So I don't get foundation all over my 
freshly washed hair, which is always a plus because, you know, sometimes in the summer I'm pulling my hair up all the time. I'm not washing it as probably as much as I should. I think I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a really good primer, and I figured, you know, I already know how this primer performs, so why not wear it underneath the foundation? Half of this side of the face I'm going to put on, I'm going to blend it in with my, this is my Tarte spatula foundation brush and then the other side I'm just going to use a beauty blender pro so I'm just going to kind of just dab some all over Ooh, this might be a little bit too light for me so I'm just going to start blending this in now some people say that this is like a really dewy foundation for them and then I've had other people say that it is super matte so when that's why when I was reviewing the concealer and I had everybody asking me how I liked it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know because it's been so long since I've even tried it or even put it on my skin. I have no idea how I like this foundation. I have been watching Jackie's videos, Jackie Inez, and oh my gosh, I love her skin and this foundation like blends so beautiful into her skin that I'm like, I've got to try it. And they say it's full coverage. And with this brush, I'm really not getting full coverage out of this foundation. And I necessarily don't think that this is a foundation that likes to be applied with a brush. I feel like this is a foundation that will look so much better with a sponge. So let's go ahead and go on this side. There's some foundations that look really good with a sponge, and there's some foundations that look really good with a brush. It just depends on the consistency, and I mean, that looks so much better, so much better already. And on this side, I had to really try to work it. You can already see the coverage difference, like this is really light coverage. This is more of a like a light medium, and this is more of a fuller coverage. So for those of you out there that, you know, want to try this foundation but don't, you know, maybe don't want the full coverage, try it with a brush. So I'm going to build up coverage on this side just so that I match because it just looks a little weird that I have like full coverage on this side and not on the other side. I do think for the summer I'm probably a shade darker, but I can totally make this shade work because it has the right undertone. I think the finish is really pretty. And um, it's kind of on the, I would say this is a, it's definitely a full coverage, um, but it, I would say it's a radiant finish. Um, it's kind of in between a matte and, it's kind of in between a matte and a more dewier finish. It does look like I have foundation sitting on my skin, but... You know, sometimes that will change as you add product on top, you know, put your setting sprays on. So this is definitely a thicker foundation, but it's not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on the baby to this big bottle. So I have natural beige in the concealer and natural beige in the foundation. So let's see if that's the same shade. Yep, it's the same shade. So today my concealer is gonna be the exact same shade as my foundation. So this concealer is in the shade Natural Beige. And I do like this concealer. Um, lately I've been mixing it using my Tarte Creaseless Concealer along with this one because I do like both of them. So I'm just gonna take my little mini sponge and just kind of work that out. I love this concealer combination with this foundation though. I do think that they make a great pair. I am gonna add just a little bit of my Tarte. I like this Tarte Creaseless Concealer right up there on my creases. And it just brings so much hydration to my under eyes. So that's kind of one reason why I like it too is it just really looks beautiful on that under eye. See how much better this looks than this? Like, it actually looks healthier and creaseless. I, I love it. I mean, you can see the difference. I love it. So I'm gonna add some on this side. All right, let's go ahead and call the check-in time. Okay, so it is currently 9.40, so it's almost 10 o'clock a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day, see how this performs. So far, I like it. Like, it's not my favorite, but I like it so far. I do think it's a little bit heavy, but I do like the coverage 
and you know we'll see once I add products on and my bronzer and blush and put some life into the face setting spray all that stuff then we'll see if it's as heavy as it is now it just feels a little bit a little bit thick a little bit heavy so I will come back for a midday check-in and then later on this evening for my final thoughts so I will see you guys in a little bit okay so I'm back it is three o'clock I've had the foundation on for five hours I just filmed another video where, where I created this oh eyeshadow look with this lippy which I'm kind of obsessed with that'll be up on my channel tomorrow so it's not like you guys have to wait that long to see it I'm trying to do a bunch of a little bit of pre-recording um, we have a busy weekend so I thought you know what I'm just gonna record to get it over with and then I'll just have to work on Monday's video so let's check out the foundation now I do see that my skin does have a very healthy natural glow I did spray this over top this is my Elsie I just got this and I'm absolutely loving it this is the Elsie hydrating hydra enhancer so it's a facial mist it's infused with jasmine i really like this mist now i don't know that it's a dewy mist but i do really like that that as like a setting mist i've been wearing it the last couple of i don't know maybe the last five six days and i really like it so let's talk about the foundation so right now it's looking pretty good i'm getting a little bit of creasing but nothing too major i'm getting a little bit of creasing around my nose nothing too major I kind of like this the way that this is looking I like how hydrating it is so let's bring you guys closer so you guys can see what this is looking like up close all right so this is what it's looking like more up close I think it's looking pretty good um, I do have a very radiant look going on it is very radiant it is very glowy for those of you guys that have it felt like it's matte um, I really haven't had that problem and maybe you could, you know, if this foundation is a little bit more matte for you, you could add a dewy skin mist over top because I do think that this foundation wants to be dewy. It wants to be radiant and not on the matte side. So if it's matte for you, you know, you could add something to make it a little bit more radiant. But for me, I do think that it's be, it's very, very radiant. I got a bunch of housework to do, so I've just been kind of all over. Um, but so far, I'm really liking this foundation. I think it looks really, really pretty. And I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. I really am. I think it looks very beautiful on the skin. And I do like that it's more of a fuller coverage. I haven't worn more of a fuller coverage foundation, you know, in the la during the summer. I just normally don't. And so it's been nice to kind of have that that floor coverage but I, I kind of like this foundation so far I'm liking it so I don't know I guess we'll see what it looks like later on this evening but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here I will come back probably around the 9 10 o'clock mark that's it for the midday check-in I think it looks really really pretty and really natural but this is about the time where our foundation starts to start tanking right it's like that four or five hour mark it just starts to like and it just crashes <laughs> So I'm kind of hoping that this doesn't do that. So I will see you guys later on this evening. Okay, I am back for my final check-in. It is just past 10 o'clock at night. I am exhausted and I still need to edit this video to have it up on the channel tomorrow. So I'm just gonna cut right to the chase and I don't mind this foundation. It's not my favorite. Um, I do have a lot of foundations that perform and last uh, longer than this one did. Like I lost a ton of coverage around my nose, around my mouth, which is definitely the area that I always lose coverage. Um, you know, it kind of creased on my nose, but that is pretty typical for me and the way that I'm always touching my nose. I don't leave it alone. And so I always have this broken up foundation around my nose, around here, so that's pretty normal for me. It did kind of, you know, stick a little bit weird around my hairline. Nothing too major. I kind of like this foundation. I kind of like it. It's not my favorite, but I like it. I think I'm definitely going to, you know, I said earlier, if I like this foundation, I think I might find a, you know, actually buy the right color and use this during the winter and get me a good, um, 
summer color and um, I'm kind of excited about it. I like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it for a full coverage. I have a lot of foundations that I love that are that medium coverage foundation and that kind of has that radiant type dewy finish to it. So I'm kind of liking that this one is full coverage but you still kind of get that radiance with it. So I come up close and let's just go ahead and kind of go around. I mean, I've really kept the coverage around here, which is normally where I like start losing coverage. Um, but I think it looks pretty dang good for being on for, you know, 12 hours. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It still looks very fresh and very radiant. So I'm kind of, I kind of like this foundation. I really do. I don't know, on a scale from one to five, I would probably give this like a four and a half. Like this is a good foundation. Like it didn't wow me. Um, I would give it a five if it wowed me. It didn't wow me, but this is a really good foundation. If you are somebody out there, maybe you have a lot of scarring or if you need a lot of coverage, and, but you still want that radiant glow, I like this one. I think you can really build up the coverage on this to give you a really good full coverage, but still not be cakey and doesn't look like makeup. So I do see how these are definitely sisters because this is definitely the concealer version of the foundation. So that is my final thoughts on this foundation. I hope that that gives you guys some ideas on, you know, how the foundation is compared to the concealer. And that is my opinion on the Too Faced foundation. For those of you guys that have been asking me that question and I didn't have an answer, I finally have an answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any requests on any foundations you guys want me to review. Don't forget to come right back here tomorrow. I will be uploading how I created this look with which palette. I'm doing a full review and tutorial creating this look using a new palette. So come right back here tomorrow. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Mountain Center time. Don't forget to come right back here on Friday. I will be testing out another foundation next Friday. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. It truly means the world to me. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so much. Bye.